Hey everyone! Did you know that English is filled with words that have crazy pronunciations? It is true, and if you don't know how to pronounce them, you, my friend, will probably never guess. This can be a real challenge for non-native speakers. So, today, let's explore 11 tricky words together and see how well you can pronounce them. Your task is simple. I'll show you a word, and you'll have five seconds to guess the correct pronunciation. Don't worry, I'll give you the answer and a brief explanation right after. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more captivating videos. Let's begin. And the first word for today is the following. Take a moment to think. I know that a lot of non-native speakers pronounce it as Iren, and I am not surprised why. It seems obvious. However, that's not correct. The right pronunciation of this word should be iron. It's as if the letters R and O changed places. So, remember that Tony Stark is not an Iron Man, but Iron Man. Be careful. If I was building Iron Man and War Machine... It's Iron Patriot now. I don't know if that's me happy. I'm not Iron Man. What's Iron Hand? She's made of iron, sir. I assure you, she can. Next up. Do you know how to pronounce this group of singers? Take a moment to think. If you think that the right way to pronounce it is choir or koyer, you are wrong. This word has its special way of pronunciation, and you just have to remember it. The correct way to say it is choir. It's very similar to how the word quiet should be pronounced, but without the letter T. For example, the choir was so quiet that nobody could hear anything. Be careful. Oh, the choir? I mean, I, have you heard them? Well, we met at choir practice about four years ago. We're putting on a choir recital fundraiser and we have two tickets left. Moving on to our next word for today. How do you pronounce this army officer? Take a moment to think. That's another tricky one. And if you don't know how it should sound, you'll probably never guess. The correct way to say it is the same as you pronounce the word colonel. Pay attention that even though there is no letter R in the middle, it should be pronounced. You just have to remember it. If you don't know, colonel is the central or most important part of something. So the following sentence might help you to remember the right pronunciation. A colonel is the colonel of any army. How are you feeling today, Colonel? Super. Superior! This is Colonel Stauffenberg. After that, the Colonel never mentioned Madeline again. The next word is another army rank. Can you guess how to pronounce it correctly? All right. This word should be pronounced in two different ways. If you want to sound more British, you can say, Lieutenant. Pay attention that there is no letter F in the word. However, British people tend to say it. On the other hand, Americans prefer to pronounce it as lieutenant. It's as if there was double O in this word. Be careful. Well, Sergeant. Oh, it's lieutenant now. Listen, lieutenant. Now, you may know this and you may not, but in the law, there's a thing called force majeure. Please do not be offended, lieutenant. But may I ask whether you're carrying your identity papers? No. The lieutenant governor finds moral indiscretion in his officers abhorrent. Now, let's move on to the next word. How do you pronounce the capital of Scotland? You have five seconds to think. I know that many of you say this word as Edinburgh, which is correct if you refer to a small town in the U.S. state of Indiana. However, if we refer to the capital of Scotland, we have to pronounce it in a special way. So, the right way to pronounce the Scottish city is Edinburgh. One more time, Edinburgh. Remember it. Satellites lost him somewhere over Edinburgh. Megaphone in Edinburgh and Paris, Brussels and Amsterdam. Welcome to Edinburgh, the 
Welcome to Edinburgh. Next up, can you pronounce the capital of South Korea correctly? Take a moment to think. I know that most of you pronounce this one as Seoul. However, this is not correct. This city should be pronounced in a very similar way as the word Seoul. So it's not Seoul, it is Seoul. And that's one of the reasons why this city's new slogan is Seoul, my soul. Remember it. No. She won gold medals for the Hockey Roos in Atlanta, Seoul and Sydney. I was meant to be in Seoul, but the air traffic controller strike screwed everything up, so now I'm on the pond jumper tonight. Now, let's look at another word. Try to pronounce this movable box in your desk. You have five seconds to think. I know it might be tempting to say drawyer. However, this word is somewhat exceptional and should be pronounced not in a standard way when referring to a box-shaped storage compartment in a desk. So, the correct way to pronounce it is drawer. It should be pronounced as if there's no letter E in this word. Remember, it's not drawyer, it is drawer. Be careful. Most days I keep that drawer shut tight. Open the top drawer. Anybody with a brainstem can tell that that drawer is being fed through the wall from the other side. Moving on. Do you know how to pronounce this one? Take a moment to think. To begin with, let's not confuse this one with the word suit, which is a set of clothes to be worn for a particular activity. On the other hand, this word means either a set of rooms for a particular purpose or a set of programs with a uniform design. And this one should be pronounced as suite. For example, the VIP suite at the hotel offered exclusive services. The gaming suite provided state-of-the-art technology. Remember it. Me? I'll take the hotel suite and the private jet. So I have you in a two-bedroom suite on the 12th floor. Is that okay? Listen, I need the Sherman suite at the Plaza Hotel, okay? Now, what about this one? Do you know how to say this disease? If you think the right way to pronounce it is schizophrenia, you are wrong. This word is exceptional. The combination of letters in this word should be pronounced as ski. And the letter Z should be pronounced as ts. So the correct way to say it is schizophrenia. Be careful. I think you're confusing schizophrenia with multiple personality disorder. Advanced delusionary schizophrenia with involuntary narcissistic rage. I'm afraid what you're describing is schizophrenia. Let's carry on. Our next word for today is the following. You have five seconds to think. As you might have already guessed, this word is exceptional and should be pronounced in a non-standard way. The correct way to say it is gauge. For those who don't know this word, gauge is an instrument or device for measuring the magnitude or amount of something. For example, a thermometer is a gauge for measuring temperature. Remember it. Gauge is broken or something. Rough neighborhood too. Look at the gauge, we got the fuel. This has a thing that looks a lot like a shield around the ship and then a gauge that's down like 75%. And our last challenge for today is the following. Can you pronounce this word correctly? I know it might be tempting to say tomb. However, in English, we say this one as tomb, as if there is no letter B at the end and the letter O should be pronounced as oo. So again, the correct pronunciation is tomb. Be careful. Our project leader believes that tomb to be located within the city of Venice, Italy. This place is a tomb. Deep within the rock they buried him. In a tomb so dark it would never come to light. Great job on improving your English pronunciation skills. If you manage to say all of these words correctly, 
your English may be at an advanced level or very close to it. Give yourself a pat on the back. Check out our other videos to enhance your English proficiency. Keep learning and you'll become a pro in no time. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe to our channel for more exciting language videos. Keep practicing and shine bright.